Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, and that means it is time to play an early access uh, beta testing game and uh, find out how it's doing and give some feedback. Now, I usually start recording after this. I actually enter the game, but a couple of people have asked um, about the the process, and this is little, the little message you see when you choose to play a game. So you've got early access. Tell the developer what you think about the app and how it could be better. And Google Play will automatically collect data about how you use the app and share that data with the developer to help them improve the app. Now the telling them, that comes at the end of the game. Um, after, so it's sort of just, just like the reviews that you can leave for regular games, except in this case it goes directly. It's a, it's a different button. You click different link and it goes directly to the developer. At the end of the game. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive in. So this is, I thought this one was interesting because it's a mining game. So I kind of wanted to, I play Minecraft a lot. Um, so I kind of wanted to compare it and see, you know, what the, what the similarities are, what the difference are. So um, and it's telling me here it's going to show me ads and it's going to track in-game behavior. Uh, check me, I agree to all terms. So I'm going to go ahead and agree to the terms uh, because I will most likely delete this game as soon as I'm done anyway. I don't usually keep the ones that are in beta testing on my phone. I might go back and try it again in a few months. But most of them I just delete as soon as I've played it and uh, made my video. So I'm going to go ahead and play Idle Well. It's called Tap to Start. So hold on blocks to dig downward. It says at the top. Oh, hello there, new miner. I'm Mr. Whiskers, master of the tower. Being a miner is the most important job anybody can have. Well, clearly, dig down as far as as far in the well as you can go. We can use the knowledge to advance our technology and build the tallest tower in history. Okay, that's a little unclear, but okay. So we will return to game. So we're going to mine. All right, I'm holding down. Nothing's happening. Oh, now something did. Clay. No, what did that say? No shoveler house. Build a shoveler house at your tower. Okay, so the mining takes a while. I'm holding down. Hold on blocks to dig downward. Yeah, I'm doing that. Eight ancient orbs. There's great power inside. Four brick building materials. So I don't understand really what's going on. I'm holding on to that and it is, I can see under my finger. You can see better on your screen because my finger's not in your way. And I can see that the block is like jumping but nothing's happening. This is where we will build our tower. I just went ahead and clicked on that thing in the bottom. The houses that make up the tower will help miners like yourself get to the bottom of the well. The higher our technology, the taller the tower can be. Yeah, okay. Stone Age. Furnace, spirit house, shoveler, house, torch house. Okay. I really don't understand what's going on, but... Shoveler house cost four bricks. Um, shoveling... Skill increased. Used to go through dirt and mud. Eight ancient orbs are great power inside. Four brick building material, it says at the top. So, okay. I still don't understand what I'm doing. Am I supposed to read about each of these? or? Alright, now I'm back. So, okay. So apparently I can't dig in the clay until I build a shoveler house. So 
shoveling skill increased. Use to go through dirt and mud. I don't, don't know any ideas. So I'm going to collect that. So now I can dig through dirt and mud. Yep, apparently. I don't really know where I'm trying to go. So I'm just digging. So dig up six clay. I have to say the, the words are kind of hard to read. Whatever that font is they're using um, is very difficult to read, at least on a small screen. Letters kind of blend into each other, like that E at the end of furnace just looks like a blob. There's no definition to it. And of course, that's partly my eyes, I imagine. I do wear glasses, but I have my glasses on and I should be able to see. All right, so now I'm going to Stone Age. I'm going to build a furnace, cost five clay, and if you look up at the top, I have eight clay. So we're going to build a furnace. And we did it. And we're going to collect whatever it was we collected. And now we'll dig again. Like a tablet. So I don't know what that means. Resource. This is our resource processing area. We transform resources from their raw form to usable form to help build our tower and make miners like you stronger. As we improve technology, we will process more resources. Let's turn this mud into brick. So we're going to tap the brick. Uh, so we're processing all of our clay into brick. So our clay at the top disappeared and five bricks appeared. So we're going to collect those. Die and drop next miner. I don't want to die. But it's making me choose that. Place player. Whoa, what just happened? Well, there's only one way out of the well. Teleport back up. You then choose your new location where you'll drop in the well. How does teleportation work? Oh, well, it's very complicated. So I guess we're going to collect. Turn on auto dig. Which is bottom. Collect. So, okay. So the miner is automatically digging. Stop blinking. I collected you. How can you improve vision in the well? Build your torch house. They will improve your sight. The deeper you go, the more vision you need. Upgrade the torch house to keep up with the dark. Alright, Stone Age. Torch house. Cost five bricks. So I guess we're building a torch house. And we're going to collect that. So the miner broke their shovel, so I don't know what we do. Cheap shovel power. Um, clicking on these buttons, none of them really help. Spirit House. Miners leave monuments behind, which give future miners a buff. I don't know what that means, but I guess I don't have enough bricks to do it. Resources. Smelting clay. Good for us. But I can't do anything because I have a broken shovel. And I don't know how to get a better one. 
clicking on everything I can click on. Yeah, so I seem to be stuck. Let's try this. Sounds on, music on, uh, all that stuff. No, I don't want to save my backup to server. So, yeah. I seem to be stuck because I don't see anything I can do with a broken shovel. And I don't know how to get a new shovel. Oop, I dropped my build a miner. She's apparently dying. So I'm gonna click on that. I guess I killed my player again. And now I get to choose where to drop them. I guess that gave me a new a new um, shovel and they're mining but they're not going where I want them to because I want them to get the diamonds or emeralds or whatever those are so so I guess the way to Get a new shovel is to kill your miner. And they broke the shovel again, so I have to kill them. That's super annoying. Alright, I have 12 bricks. See, they're going straight down, so maybe we'll get these gems or whatever they are. Let's see what happens. Broke shovel. Nope, so I have to kill them again. Way annoying. So, build a miner house at your tower. So I have to go to my tower and build a miner house. I don't see that as an option, but I'll go ahead and smoke my... Oh, didn't have any clay. Yeah, so this game's confusing. really do anything because I can't build a miner house. So I'll just drop my miner here. <clears throat> I don't know, what do you guys think? What what am I missing? That would make this more fun <coughs> or easier. You guys see something I'm missing? Because I've got to tell you, I'm not enjoying this game. It's confusing. I don't understand the point. About 18 bricks. I didn't drop my guy there. So I'll go ahead and go again and I drop up here. Curious as to what that lighter colored stone is. Oh, just sand. So 
So, I guess those things that look like bricks along the side there, that's going to be the side of the well. And we're just trying to clear out the space in between. Now, see, I can't do this emerald black because I don't have a miner house, but I don't know how to build a miner house. So, shoveling skill increased. Used to go through dirt and mud. Furnace. Torch house. Uh, I want to build a spirit house, but I don't know how to do that. Five bricks, so let's go ahead and build a spirit house. Now maybe I can build. Winding the well is dangerous, and some miners that came before you lost their lives here. If you find their graves, it will give you tremendous digging power for a limited time. You might be the one to finally break through. Okay. So I still can't get through that block. I'm going to have to kill my miner again, because it's the only way I know to start over. And we'll drop him there. Ah, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm done with this game. I don't know if this is one I would revisit to come back and see if they've made any improvements. Broke shovel, so I have to kill my miner again. That's just, I'm sorry, but no. That's just not. So they have super power for a minute. Five knowledge. But it still doesn't help him break through the emerald block. Here we can upgrade our technology using knowledge found in the well. Higher tech means deeper and faster digging. We can also give up on the current well and go to a new one if necessary. Technology upgrades are permanent. Okay. Bronze Age unlocks blacksmiths, carpentry, and mining. Good for us. Ooh, okay, so I had a bomb. So now we have zero bombs. But it let us collect some emeralds. And I don't know why those are blinking. Build a miner house to go through light stone. Still don't know how to build a miner house. And frankly, I'm getting kind of tired of this. So, alright, well, uh, I usually try to say positive things like this game has potential, There's, but this game is confusing. I don't see the point. Um, I'm going to try and be polite in my feedback that I end up giving me developers, but yeah, I just not not my type of game. We'll go with that. Just not my type of game. And it looks like you can view an ad to get a buff. So but I don't want to do that. So let's just Close that. Oops, I accidentally clicked on the thing. Gonna pause you guys. Alright, so we are back. So I received 10 ancient orbs for watching the ad that I didn't intend to, to watch, but I still don't know what I do with the ancient orbs. And, yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave it here because I'm just not really interested in continuing further in this game. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're seeing obvious things that I'm missing. If you've tried a game like it. If there's a game that it's trying to imitate. 
that maybe I could play like a fully developed game that I could play to then get the point of this game. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you if you understand it any better than I do. And uh, thanks for joining me. Check out my other videos. Give this a thumbs up if you liked the video, even if you didn't like the game any more than I did. And uh, I will see you all later. Bye!